everyone, so I finally closed the door on my winter capsule wardrobe and everything is sorted. I have put the bits that I wanted to into storage and I have also purchased a few new bits, which is very exciting to purchase clothing for the first time in like three months. I was like, yes! If you have absolutely no idea what I'm going on about, then I will link up a few videos for you down below. But the ones that you want to watch is how to make a capsule wardrobe, which is this video here, which basically explains how I got into it all and what the whole capsule wardrobe idea entails. And then also have a watch of my winter capsule wardrobe update for the video that I did of my like autumn slash winter transition. And there I explained some of the things that I was taking out of my wardrobe, putting into storage for like next autumn until they come back into season again, and also a few ideas of what I wanted to pick up for my winter capsule wardrobe. Now I subscribe to the Caroline Rector on fancy capsule wardrobe idea which is where she recommends 37 pieces that includes shoes and all types of clothing to take you from season to season so you switch it around every three months and I can't remember what my final total is for this capsule wardrobe but I will pop it up here I have a feeling that it's a little bit less than 37 I went a little bit under this time just because I was really happy with what I had already and I actually only purchased five new things and so some of them were a little bit different to what I originally thought that I wanted. There was a few things that I thought, nah, not really into that. I didn't end up buying the ASOS suede boots that I mentioned in my last video. And I did buy the ASOS faux fur leopard print coat and it just did not look right on me. I actually bought a few kind of leopard print coats and tried on loads <laughs> over the last month and they all just made me look like Pat Butcher in a really bad way, like not a good way. So didn't end up going down that route. In the end, I ended up picking up another coat and also two tops, a dress and a skirt. I know, a skirt but the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the top that I'm wearing today. This is from Whistles and this is a new spotty shirt because a lot of you have said, Anna, we know that you love your blue spotty Whistles shirt, but it's time to get a new one. So I thought it was something very similar, but also like a little bit different in that it's monochrome, it's a bit patterned. And I just love these shirts. I love the fit of them. I love that they've got an almost cut up the side, which means that they're really easy to tuck in the front if you want to tuck in the front and leave the back hanging out a little bit. I'm really sensing a bit of a uniform coming along and I like to wear lots of different types of trousers, like some coloured ones, some denim, some patterned, but I just love a good shirt. I did actually get another shirt from Whistles, and this is not black or white or grey, it's actually blue. I just loved this colour. The minute that I saw this colour, I knew that I had to have this in my wardrobe. I thought it'd be a nice one to wear kind of more into spring almost, so by the time that spring rolls around, I'm sure this will be being worn an absolute ton, but I love the fabric of it, it's quite light, but it also keeps me quite warm at the same time. Again, I love the cut of them, they had these in all different colours, there was a yellow, there was a pink that really caught my eye, there's all sorts of colours of them, and again, I just like how these sit. Now the next two things you would have seen in my festive weekly vlog, I went a little bit crazy on All Saints. I'm not the biggest fan of All Saints, I don't tend to buy a lot of stuff from there, but I feel like when it comes to monochrome essentials, it's really, really good. And also dresses, they have a lot of dresses in there. There's a lot of styles to pick from, and some of them can be quite dressy, but some of them are also quite casual as well. And I saw this one, I think it is called the Helle Yoro, and they do it in a beige background with a pattern on the front as well, but I really liked it in black. And it's just got almost like, flowers on? When Lily first saw this she thought it was reindeers and I can kind of see how she got a bit confused but it's basically just flowers and it is a huge billowing like you can fit a complete food baby under this and no one would ever know but it's a very pretty silk shirt dress and I love shirt dresses because I love how you can wear them like bare legs and boots for more of an evening look but also you can like bundle them up underneath coats for very casual looks and also tuck them into jeans. I just, as long as they're not too long, you can always get away with it. They always look really good like tucked into jeans. So you almost end up with a dress slash top at the same time, so very multitasking. It wasn't the cheapest thing, but I did actually pick it up when they had a bit of a sale going on, so yay. And the other thing that I picked up from there is this coat, and this is like a black kind of charcoal-y, quite a heavy coat really, with this secret bit of leather going on, like behind the collar, and it's also got a button in the middle so you can fasten it as well. And what I was really lacking in my wardrobe was a black smart coat. I had really nice like grey coat, I had a trench coat, I love coats, I love jackets if you can't already tell, and I really like my Zara kind of blanket coat, but that just wasn't really smart enough for when I wanted something a bit more fitted and a bit more formal, and this just completely fits 
it's that built. It's a nice length. It kind of comes to like mid thigh-ish. So it covers your bum, keeps you nice and warm, but it's also very like pretty to look at at the same time. So a very practical purchase, this one. Then perhaps a not so practical purchase is this one. And I asked you guys where you would recommend getting like a suede or like a fake leather look skirt from. And loads of you came back with loads of different places. I checked out quite a few. I've been into Zara, New Look had some in. I checked on ASOS. But the one that I fell in love with and like couldn't get out of my head was surprise surprise from Whistles and it is this one here and it is a deep navy blue like a little bit indigo-y actually suede skirt now I haven't really started to think about how you wash this I'm not even sure if you can wash this in fact I don't think you can I think it'll just be like a brush down kind of thing but it is really really gorgeous gorgeous piece of clothing it's got two pockets on the front and I love a good pocket and I like the fit of this it kind of is a bit a-line but it's not super flared it's not super like 60s or 70s looking and I just find that it fits really well it's not too short I don't feel like when I bend over that I'm completely <laughs> exposing myself to the person behind me and it sits in a really nice position as well it doesn't like cut you in half you know sometimes you sit down with skirts and you're like oh I don't have this with this one at all I just really like it it's a really interesting piece plus I can wear this in the summer without any tights underneath but right now I'm really enjoying it with tights boots and then like a shirt like this tucked in the top a blue skirt I know who would have thought it also a blue shirt like what's going on not so much monochrome well I guess this is kind of monochrome and the rest of it was as well but let me know what you would like to see next capsule wardrobe wise I'm thinking maybe like a week in outfits type thing I think that could work really well but let me know if you have any other ideas let me know how your capsule wardrobe is going on if you too have one thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye